I'm Mark. And I'm Natalie. And this is 100 Second Haunts. Today's movie is Things Heard and Seen. This movie was cool. It was different, but beware that you don't move into this farmhouse because it hates women. I love this movie for a couple of reasons. Number one, toxic masculinity. Number two, gaslighting. Number three, my favorite, dark academia vibes. My favorite character was every member of the seance, especially Gary Longhair. This man's <laughs> ponytail was beautiful. He looks like he uses a lot of shampoo and conditioner. And uh, he seemed dank, but he also seemed like the kind of man that pees sitting down. So My favorite character was Floyd De Beers, a.k.a. Big Murray the Outfit Tracker, a.k.a. Bert from White Lotus. Um, did you know that I was outfit tracked today? Were you? Yeah, by a six-year-old. F her. I'm giving the creepy award to George's face. George is the husband. George looks creepy all the time. He's such a fake simp. He's disgusting and like, ugh, gross and creepy. My creepy award goes to George when he's at his parents' house, combing his hair, and he's hearing the ghosts in the bathroom. His face is just disgusting. So basically, we both hate George's face. My best scare is going to Kath when she walks by the ghost for the first time and it's just kind of standing there in the corner and it's scary. I was scared. Yeah, I was scared. My biggest scare is when George asks the demon for a sign and the vulture comes crashing through the window. I have Eddie for biggest winner because he got to sleep with Kath, aka Amanda Seyfried. I felt like the biggest winners in this movie were the old white people's seance committee. My biggest loser was George because he's just an actual loser in every single way. I have Kath as the biggest loser because she dies and loses everything because George is an insecure idiot. Mm, felt that one. <laughs> DCFT don't care for that when Kath pulls the fetus out of the garbage disposal. Uh, we never even heard about her being pregnant, so it made no sense. Definitely don't care for George's bare ass. Like, George, what are you doing running around with no drawers on? Don't nobody want to see that? Put some pants on, George. And our final girl is Justine, the weaving instructor. George tried to kill her, but she popped out of her coma and spilled all the beans. And George sailed away into the sunset, a.k.a. hell. We really love this movie because it's the only scary movie where the ghost was less scary than the human beings. There are demons and there are ghosts. Demons are always evil, but this ghost was kind of friendly. And that's it for us here at 100 Second Haunts.